Oh, big one, guys. Came out of the water for it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bagham Outdoors. Today, I'm on the Vermilion River. You can see behind me, and I have got a little bit different lure I'll be using today. This here, this is the MEPS Comet Minnow, and uh, it's a size two, but you can see it's a little bit different because it looks just like a rainbow trout, and it doesn't have like the normal hair or something like a normal um, like rooster tail or something like that would have. So we'll see how it does. We'll see what kind of action it's got. And uh, yeah, the goal for today is a big trout. 20 plus inches, that's the goal. Oh my God. Just missed probably the fourth fish, guys, on this bait. There we go. Finally, trout on the freaking trout lure. It's like a pretty decent one too. All right guys, first trout on the trout lure you can see there. Look at the markings on him though. He definitely got bit by one of the pike in this river. Just gouges out of him. But yeah, pretty cool. On the trout lure, probably about a 14 inch brownie. I'm not gonna lie, I've been fishing that trout lure for at least an hour now and I've had like at least um, like a, a dozen hits and that was like finally the first one I've actually caught. So um, yeah, but just for the purpose of the video, I finally caught one on that. But now I think I'm gonna put on a rooster tail just because I kinda wanna catch the fish now. All right, guys, now I've got a gold and silver rooster tail on. You can see it's got like a couple little feathers on there, and uh, hopefully they are attracted to that and actually eat the hook instead of with that trout lure and just hit the spinner. Oh, big one, guys. Came out of the water for it. Just as soon as I tied that rooster tail, I can't let him get under there. Oh, I got a horse of power there. Come on, buddy. Oh my God. That's a big one. That's a big one. Don't get in there. Don't get in there. Uh, bringing him up current too. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice brownie. Holy cow. Oh, look at this brownie, guys. Yes. That's my biggest of the season for sure. Oh, yes. That is a tank brownie. Oh my God. Look at him. Oh, I'm gonna get a tape real quick. Absolute giant brownie. I better have been recording for that. Cherry pop. Long this baby is just came up and smoked that white rooster tail as soon as I put it on oh yeah 22 inch tank vermilion river brownie keep holding them in the water I don't have a net so it's really important to hold them in the water as long as you can I'll take a video Oh yeah, 
Another dip. Just a tank, guys. Look at that. Vermilion River. Giant. He's got battle scars. This is an old fish. Big old brown. Look at him. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Email. Get her right back here. Point her head into the current. Yes. Whew. That feels good, guys. It was not looking good when I had that freaking trout lure on. I'm so glad I put that thing on because probably would have not landed it with that trout lure. So good old trusty rooster tail. That's how it's done. Looks like a nice little rainbow. I'm actually fishing up closer to where they stock the rainbows today. And I've been seeing, and that one got off, but I've been seeing a lot more rainbows as we get closer to that spot. Oh, big one, massive. Oh my God, this is huge. This is huge. Right in that eddy, oh my God. This is massive. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. No, 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 no. It's another giant, another giant. Oh my God. Oh my God. Broke me off. Oh, no. Oh my God. That was a tank. Came right out of that little eddy right there. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. All right, guys, I'm gonna talk a little bit about why that fish was here. I never really talk about the locations for these trout, so here we go. So you can see right here where I'm standing is the shallow side of the river. The other side is the deep side because that's the way the river bends. All the water pushes into that side, which is why it's deeper on that side. And this is just a really good looking area for trout. I didn't catch anything in that tree, but I guarantee you there's trout in that tree. I just couldn't get my spinner in there. And then I had that one hooked right there in that eddy. I just cast my eddy as far as I could into that eddy, brought it out and he was probably sitting right on the current seam waiting for it to go by. So yeah, anytime you guys have deep water with structure and like current changes and things like that, those are good areas for trout. There's a little one. Came right off from that tree. It's like a rainbow. Is it a rainbow? Yeah. I don't know it's a brownie. It's gonna look like a rainbow though. There he is, like 12 inches. Put him right back. There's one. Watch him boil on it. About the same size as the last one. He's got a lot of energy too. There we go. About 12 incher. Well guys, not gonna lie, that was first for me. <laughs> I 
I felt something hit my foot and a muskrat was biting me. So I hit it with my rod and my rod broke on it. But, <laughs> oh God, <laughs> that actually scared me so bad. But <laughs> yeah, so I guess, I guess I'm done trout fishing for today. Time to go get a new St. Croix, but <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As far as that uh, trout lure goes, I would not recommend it. I had so many bites and I didn't even hook up on them. So yeah, just don't get it. Um, other than that, the rooster tail prevailed again, caught a pretty big one, lost a pretty big one, caught some others. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Be sure to comment down below if you want to see me catch a fish on another weird lure. So just comment down below what you want to see me catch a fish on. And yeah, be sure to like the video. As always, always remember to keep on bagging them.